Hi Libra, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Very much stressed out. Yeah, there's definitely guilt and regret if they've done you wrong. Let's clarify. Why is Three of Swords here? <laughs> yeah, Knight of Wands. Player-like tendencies, some of you third party, three of pentacles, knight of wands. Someone that was popping in and out of your life as they please, they're getting their karma here. Why is nine of swords? Why nine of swords? Whoa. Page of wands. Seven of wands. Oh, I don't like saying um, things like this, but some of them could be going through some health issues because they were very um, careless here, uh, promiscuous. But they're feeling very defeated, pessimistic. Can be, see, health, mental, physical, emotional. Definitely I'm seeing some mental issues here. Some of you have cut this person out. Hmm. Yeah, if there's been a fallout and ending, I'm seeing the world, this person's uh, having a hard time sleeping here. How they're viewing you, Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords. Are you playing a player? Is that what I'm getting? Is a player regretting their actions? Now they're seeing you as the player or someone who's getting to know other people. You're moving on. Let's see. Why is Eight of Wands here? Why Eight of Wands? Some of you may be traveling. Why is this person viewing Libra as the Eight of Wands? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, same energy. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. You're not bothered. You're focused on your work. Some of you, um, this is a fellow co-worker or something. There may be um, back and forth messages here, or you may see each other at work is what I'm getting, but there will be conversation here. Why is Seven of Swords coming through for how this person's viewing Libra, Queen of Pentacles? Some of you, they feel like you're avoiding them or you're hiding things from them. Yeah, that this may be unrequited love now. You don't have feelings for them. There's a lot going on in this person's head. Um, sometimes Nine of Swords can be coming up with worst case scenarios. Who else are you talking to? Why is Libra avoiding me? Libra doesn't love me anymore. That is what is going on. It's like a cassette. They can't quiet the noise in their mind. How they're feeling, very confused. Seven of Cups, Upright, Six of Swords, in reverse. They don't know what to do. They can't move on from you. They're mentally very fixated on you. Six of Swords, in reverse. Nine of Swords, Upright. Why is Seven of Cups here? They want to know what you're hiding, what you're doing. Oh, wow. Ace of Wands, Empress, and Venus and Scorpio, Seven of Cups. This person's fantasizing about being physical with you. If you haven't been intimate with this person, that is what they're fantasizing about, what it would be like. Yeah, you represent wish fulfillment. It's all, it's all imagining. Strong influence of Neptune. Uh, some of you may be dealing with a Pisces here. Why is Six of Swords in reverse? Why Six of Swords in reverse for how this person will be feeling? No, that's too many. Queen of Swords. I think this person tried to detach here uh, when it comes to you, but they're having a hard time. A lot of sleepless nights. And if you've cut this person out, you're not as emotional with them. Um, perhaps at one point you were emotionally unavailable. Sorry, you were emotionally available and you've pulled back. So you detaching has this person stressing out, is what I'm feeling. 
Wow. Um, there are intentions towards you. We have Five of Cups and Reverse King of Cups. They're loving you. They have compassion for you. They really like you, but their intentions is to heal, to get out of their head, get more emotional control, because right now they're out of control. Clarify the King of Cups for this person's intentions. Some, yeah, they're saying they're loving you from afar. Clarify the King of Cups for this person's intentions towards Libra. Why is King of Cups here? Share yet. Wow, this has been very much stuck in the past here, but I'm seeing that conflicted energy. My head is saying one thing, my heart is saying another. Their heart is pulling them towards you. But their head may be talking them out of it. They will be taking action towards you. Some of you, if they're at a distance, say you're getting to know each other online, this is someone who's wanting to travel towards you. What action they'll be taking towards you? Knight of Wands, they're charging in with passion. I don't know if you trust this person though, right? Especially if it's someone new or someone who's playing the field. Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Wands for what action this person will be taking towards Libra. Any additional clarity? Yeah, they want to work out, work on things with you. They're saying we can work through any differences. They're rushing in. They want to communicate. Yeah, I'm seeing the Knight of Swords here as well. The Lovers, King of Wands. Page of Wands, you'll be getting a message from this person. They'll be trying to flirt with you, get your attention. Your feelings, we have the Devil, Ace of Cups. Um, sometimes Devil and feelings can be obsession, so you may be obsessively thinking about them as well. But be careful, because this combination can be a toxic love, right? Um, so there may be something that's a bit off-limits, or it's not the most healthy connection for you. If that is the case, um, you're smart here with the Queen of Swords upright, so I don't see you jumping into anything foolishly, right? It's mind over heart for you. But you do find them to be physically very much your type. Some of you, this is a completely new person, you're meeting them online with the Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups. It's a new love. And it's mutual. You know, physical attraction here. You both uh, really like each other. If it's a new person, this person could be healing from something from their past, right? With the Nine, nine of Swords, Three of Swords. So it's a rebound situation. Be careful if that is the case. Why is the devil here for how Libra will be feeling? Why is the devil here? Four of Wands, yeah. Some, someone here may be committed. You may, or this person may be. There's strong mirroring here. So what you're thinking and feeling, and this person is as well. You're both obsessively thinking about one another is what the cards are indicating past or new and you both have a decision to make it's a new person you're playing the field you're getting to know people right so you're not really too attached or serious that's also coming through in your outcome we have queen of swords two of wands um you're open here for to you know to communicate uh, really get to know this person if there's someone new and you're willing to make plans here with the two of wands it's forward thinking Clarify the Queen of Swords. It's also a queen with healthy boundaries. Someone who has a good head over her shoulders. It's very intelligent. Ooh, some of you, this is unexpected new love. Eight of Wands Tower. Unexpected new love or unexpected communication. But you're definitely not losing your mind over anyone. Yeah, new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. Why is Two of Wands here? Some of you, are, you don't know this person yet, Moon in Reverse. You'll be getting to know them. Why is Two of Wands here? Can be someone at a distance. I think I mentioned that. Seeing the globe here. Why is Two of Wands here? 
for Libra's outcome. Yeah, moon in reverse again. Yeah, um, I'll make a decision after. I need more clarity. I need to get to know you better before I make a decision. But you're at a crossroads. You'll have to pick a direction is what your outcome is indicating here. This person, we have Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Um, some of you definitely, a majority of you, I'm seeing a new energy. That person may be coming out of a divorce or a long-term commitment. Uh, they're not ready for anything solid yet. They feel sort of drained, defeated. They're, they have some healing to do. Five of Cups in reverse. You represent a new uh, beginning, right? They're very fascinated. Why seven? Five of Pentacles. Why is Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Oh, Seven of Wands again. King of Wands. Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some of you don't see this person. Ooh, okay. Um, some of you have a decision between two people. Um, someone from your past and a new person. The new person, you don't see them coming. You have your back turned to them. There's an energy you're looking at, they're looking at you. Feels like it's someone from the past, this King of Wands. But there's also someone that's keeping an eye on you. You don't see them. It's almost like a secret admirer. Wow, you have options, which is why you had to make a choice with the Two of Wands. There's, pa there's two people here, past and new Libra. You'll have a decision to make. You're looking at the facts. At one point, perhaps you were overtly emotional, right, with the moon, but it's in reverse. You're putting your emotions aside. You're looking at things objectively. Let's get you some oracle cards here. This is funny. I know I need to make a choice, but for now I'm comfortable with leaving things as they are. This is your energy. You'll have a choice to make. There's a whole other side to me that you haven't seen yet and I'm ready to show you. Some of you, there can be an energy that was very closed off. They weren't expressing much and I'm seeing them coming back around and being more vulnerable with you. I definitely see that. What is the person on Libra's mind? I can't give you what you want right now. Love yourself first. Well, sp especially if this person's in another situation, right? With the Three of Swords. And even if it's a new person, they have a lot of healing to do. Look at their energy, right? What they're bringing towards you is the Knight of Wands passion. Something more physical. And we also have, I'm going to, wow. Please take my call. Let's forget the past and start over. I'm going to leave you hanging. I only care about my needs. So someone may be coming in from the past that only wants you for something physical. If they can't, they're non-committal. And if that is the case, I see you turning them down for a lot of you. They haven't changed. It's best I maintain a distance between you and I. I'll continue to watch you from a distance. I'm going to, you know, I'm tracking you down to reunite. I've been thinking a lot about you. I'm going to use manipulative tactics to have my way with you. Past or new, tread carefully. They're bringing passion. They're rushing in. Some of you, they're traveling towards you. There's literal distance here. Someone's been watching you from afar. Some of, some of them can be watching you online, right? Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups. You may be meeting someone new online, but they're bringing their non-committal in the outcome. What advice that too? It will leave an imprint on your heart that will last forever. True love never dies. This is talking about self-love. She's hugging herself here. Know your worth. You're a goddess. You're a king. You're a queen. That is what they're reminding you. 
What advice do you have for Libra? Get over it. Yeah, your love life is being guided. Trust that your love life is being divinely guided and protected. Your angels know exactly how much information you can handle right now. So there may be certain things about your love life that are being kept hidden from you. You are looking. You're ready to move forward. You're looking to the future, what the future holds for you, and it's something beautiful. Your love life is being divinely protected, guided. We have get over it. Snap out of it. They're going to be sorry they lost you. So stop worrying and forget the past. It's time to let them go. That can be this toxic past person X, and then there may be a new love here, Ace of Cups, right? Because we have her holding the heart here. But there is something, someone better. I'm actually curious with Angel with Love, what, what was that about? Is there a new love coming towards? Yeah, you're manifesting them, Magician. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I don't need to clarify this because we had that angel with love. Uh, fate is playing a role here. Um, the way you meet your next person will actually be very unpredictable. So you can't predict this meeting, but it, it's divinely guided. Wheel of Fortune. Something beautiful is headed your way. Divinely guided fairy tale romance. Look at that. And happily ever after. Yeah, you will get what you deserve. This romance will feel magical. It will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a happily ever after. Happily ever after. You're stepping into your happily ever after. A future filled with so much joy and personal fulfillment. You have something amazing. Uh, but more so they're saying don't lose hope, right? There are a few frogs here. I see that. But it'll be worth it here in the end. Fairy tale romance, happily ever after. It's amazing. Yes, Libra, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.